Yeah. Okay, ready? Hi everyone, I am Meredith Abbott and welcome to Sir La Table. Today I'm going to be showing you a popper deli with zucchini ribbons and a mint parsley pesto. For this recipe, you'll need fresh pasta dough, lemon, garlic, flat leaf parsley, mint, zucchini and yellow squash, olive oil, freshly cracked black pepper, pine nuts, and Parmigiano Reggiano. All right, first things first when it comes to this recipe, I need to make my pesto. Today I'm using mint and parsley, three quarter cup each of the picked leaves. You can also substitute with some basil or spinach, any kind of tender green that you have around the house. Then we're going to add in our pine nuts. If you don't like pine nuts, you can substitute walnuts, almonds, cashews, or if you have an allergy, you can substitute pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, or just omit completely. Then I'm going to smash and peel one clove of garlic. You can add two if you really like garlic. I find it a little too much for myself. And then just taking a paring knife, I'm going to nip off that root end. We don't want that in our pesto. Top it with your lid, secure it. We're going to pulse this a couple times to start forming a paste. Pop off your lid, give it a scrape if you need to. We're giving it a head start to start breaking all of these things down before we add in our other ingredients, which is grated Parmigiano Reggiano, cracked black pepper, lemon juice, and olive oil. Lid back on. I'm going to pulse it again until it becomes almost like a paste. Okay, this is quite paste-like. You can still see flecks of the green and the cheese in here. It's beautiful. And this is how you make mint parsley pesto. And now we're ready to move on to the fresh pasta. Okay, the pesto is done. I have it here off to the side in the bowl. I'm going to finish up preparing my zucchini. I already have my yellow squash here cut into ribbons and one zucchini done. So to finish that, I'm going to cut the edge off this zucchini, slice it in half lengthwise, being very careful of my fingertips like so. And now with a Y peeler, start from one end and go lengthwise down to the bottom. But there we go. So that's what we're looking for. We can work it from all sides and you're going to take peels off until you hit the seeds, the core. So once you start doing that, you're gonna stop and you can flip it. You can either hold it flat like this or hold it in your hand carefully like I was. Like so, working your way down. And that is how you make zucchini ribbons. You can also do this with cucumbers to make salads. Okay, zucchini and squash is ready to go. Now I need to cut the pasta. I made some fresh homemade pasta sheets earlier. This is way too long to eat, so I'm gonna cut this into thirds. You can cut using a bench scraper or a knife. I'm just gonna eyeball maybe about 10 to 12 inches or so. I'm going to fold that into a little bundle like so, set that aside. And I'm gonna split this one in half as well. Think about when you're eating, how much pasta do you wanna twirl on your fork at the same time? That's too much. Let's make this easier on ourselves. And pappardelle is about a half an inch wide. So I'm not great at visualizing that. So I'm gonna take my bench scraper that has some ruler marks on it, half an inch is about as wide as my thumb. So you can stack two on top of each other if you'd like and make cuts through, just like so. 
Doesn't have to be perfectly even. This is homemade. And then we're gonna unfold those just to make sure that they're not sticking to each other. And then you should have these beautiful ribbons of pasta. I'm just gonna bundle these up onto the side. Again, just making sure that they're not sticking together before I cook them. And about a pound of pasta will feed four generously. So really it could feed up to, I would say eight if you're serving a side salad or something else with this dish. Okay, pesto is made, zucchini and squash is prepared, pasta is cut, now it's time to cook. I have my skillet heating with medium high heat, water is boiling, I'm going to season my water with a hefty pinch of salt, full five finger pinch twice, to my skillet, I'm just going to give a little glug of oil, enough to coat the bottom. My oil is hot, so in goes my zucchini ribbons. Little sizzle right there is what I'm looking for. Let that set. Carefully drop your pasta into the water. Make sure your water is boiling. I'm going to take my tongs and give it a little stir so they don't stick to each other. Season your squash and zucchini with a little bit of salt, a couple cracks of black pepper, and we're just going to stir this until it gets lightly browned and until our pasta is done cooking. Two to three minutes is all it needs. I've got a little color on my zucchini and my squash. Pasta is done. I'm gonna use my tongs to grab the pasta out of the water and move it right to my skillet. It's okay to get that pasta water in there. It's going to help create our sauce with the pesto. I'm going to give it a couple tosses. Make sure your heat is on medium, medium low, somewhere in there. I'm gonna add in the pesto. I have a metal measuring cup. I'm going to take out about a quarter cup of that pasta water and add it to the skillet. This is what makes that sauce. So it's gonna loosen up the pesto and help coat everything. So you can stir it. If you're gutsy and you wanna try flipping it, you can, it's a great way to bring dishes together. You can also use tongs. Be very careful if you're using a nonstick skillet not to scrape your tongs on the bottom. Just heat this in your skillet until everything kinda of comes together. Turn off your heat, grab your pasta bowl, take a nice big kind of tong full like that. And as you set, you're just going to twist just to give some height to your plate. Just twist it up a little bit like so. And then to finish it all off, who doesn't love more cheese? Right over top with a grater. Beautiful. A couple more cracks of fresh pepper. A little bit more salt. And there you go. Popper deli with zucchini and squash ribbons and a mint parsley pesto. Enjoy. For recipe videos, cooking classes, and more, visit surlatob.com.